Okay, well, Rob here again, um, another vlog. It's been a while, so I figured, hey, what the hell, time for another one. I'm at a crossroads in my life. Um, my short-term disability is almost up. Um, I have a job I can't fucking stand. Um, it kills me. There are no new jobs because of the economy. Thank you, Mr. Ex-President Bush, and hopefully future indicted and imprisoned war criminal. Um, so I'm pretty much stuck where I'm at. Oh, and when I go back, it will be 20 hours a week. So that's actually a relief because I won't have to pay for the shitty insurance anymore which was never worth having in the first place. And on top of that, it'll free up time to actually go look for a real job. Anyway, I, like I was saying, I'm at a crossroads in my life. Um, I live at home. To be precise, uh, my brother and I are buying my mom's home or at least we were, until I got this disability and no longer had the same income I did before. And what that resulted in is my brother just uh, deciding to take my share of the house in payment for what I couldn't make in payment, which I guess is fair. Um, but he's going to end up owning the house outrightly. The house that my father slaved away, or the house that was bought with the money that my father, my father, not his father, my father, slaved away at on a blue collar job for most of his life to save up to buy a house and retirement to take care of my mom. My brother is going to end up owning that. And that's somebody tweeting me. Oh, the joy of Twitter. Anyway, so he's going to end up owning that. Which would be nice, because, you know, he always hated my father. Um, yeah. I could say some really mean things about my brother, but I'm not going to because he is my brother, and it's better just to let go of um, those kind of things and not hate people. But anyway, I'm at a crossroads in my life. Um, I can't live there anymore because um, I can't get along with them. I can't afford to help support the house. Um, I got to get back on my feet financially, maybe get a better job, get a roommate, get an apartment, get a fucking studio if I have to. If I have to live in a 4x4 four four closet shack, I'll do it. But I'll tell you, sometimes, um, I feel like just uh, kissing postmodern society goodbye, telling it to go burn in hell, um, taking my, my pack, my rifle, my hunting knife, and going out to, uh, to Skull Valley or, or somewhere in the West Desert, find a quiet little spot out of the way, build a wiki up, and, uh, live off the land. I could see myself doing that. Same time, I'd be perfectly happy getting a job at a small company, software house, maybe doing tech support. I, um, I either want to check out of this fucking society and live by my own terms, by my own rules, or stay in the society, work a decent job, 
for a decent paycheck with people who respect me, who I respect, that I can go home every night and feel good about. Um, yeah. That's where I am right now. Overall, in some ways, better. Panic and anxiety is not nearly as bad as they were. Hence why I'm going back to work. But I've got some other issues that are kind of killing me. Um, emotional type stuff. Nothing to do with my brother or my family life. But I'm not going to go into those. Anyway, um, myself, right this moment, I'm going to keep looking out this window because a little while ago, a fairly attractive young lady um, was bouncing, was jumping up and down on a trampoline. And all I can say is bouncy, 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 bouncy. And fuck you, Twitter. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, Twitter. Anyway, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. And that's all. Bouncy, bouncy. Fuck. God damn it.